Yes. Mm -hmm. So our setup is slightly different. Instead of shooting up into the air with a rifle, we are going to shoot in indoors with this air gun. And then we're going to shoot into these small candles that we mounted on the pendulum. So uh, instead of having a block going into the air, we'll have a pendulum swinging. But the block will still be able to rotate. Okay, so what we see here is a representation of the setup that we had before with these, these three candles. What people would normally make a mistake about is to forget that this is an inelastic co collision where the kinetic energy is not conserved. So the moment of truth, we're going to measure the depth that the hill went into these candles. So this is it for the center. And then for the one on the side. What's the difference? Yeah, it's about twice. Nice. Uh, that means that the bullet goes through the candle and stays in there, so there goes some energy to destroying this candle. Instead of thinking about the kinetic energy, you should think about the momentum, because the translational momentum is always conserved in a collision. So the momentum before and the momentum after the collision is the same. Okay, so where does the rotational energy come from? Well, before, in the middle, we had a lot of internal energy put into the candle. And as we saw, the heel or the bullet went all the way through the candle. In the side, we only had the bullet go halfway through the candle, which means this internal energy went into the candle. And all of the other internal energy that wasn't put into the candle went as rotational energy.